After decades of civil war in southern Sudan, the return of peace is allowing health workers to strengthen their fight against guinea worm disease. Guinea worm is contracted by drinking contaminated water. The worms grow in the body for about a year, then emerge slowly for weeks through painful skin blisters that incapacitate and sometimes cripple its victims. People infected with guinea worm spread the disease when they immerse their blisters in water and allow the worm to contaminate it with new larvae, continuing its life cycle. But guinea worm has now retreated to only a few African countries, the result of a 22-year eradication campaign led by former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and the Carter Center, based in Atlanta. It was a horrible disease, almost indescribably bad. It was an ancient disease. It didn't seem to have any solution, and so it was almost an insurmountable problem. That's why we decided to try to solve it. Guinea worm afflicted millions two decades ago, but last year fewer than 2,000 cases were reported, most of them in Sudan. Sudan is the last big bastion of guinea worm disease in the world, and therefore is the most important repository of, of guinea worm disease uh, anywhere. In southern Sudan, Health workers from the Carter Center are working with government authorities to attack guinea worm where it thrives, in poor villages that rely on contaminated water. Their strategy is the same they've used everywhere that guinea worm has been eliminated. Public education to prevent contamination of water, supplying millions of water filters, applying safe chemical treatment to water sources, and providing safe water from underground wells. People in these villages say they once believed guinea worm was caused by witchcraft or by eating spoiled meat. But now they understand the origin of the parasite that has tormented them for thousands of years. And once you train these men, then you can come and get with and them. Communities are cooperating with health authorities to isolate the disease, breaking the life cycle of the guinea worm and driving it to extinction. I'm absolutely confident that guinea worm will be uh, eradicated. The only question is how soon. And we are racing against time in southern Sudan, especially in the fear that there, there might be uh, some other outbreak of ethnic tension, violence, et cetera, that might compromise things. And, and I have to emphasize the reason we are working to eradicate this thing in the first place is that if you leave one worm, there's the potential for the entire thing to come back because one person contaminating the village water supply contaminates it for everybody who uses that water supply. So nothing less than complete eradication is the goal of the Carter Center and a coalition of governments, international agencies, and private donors. And if this progress continues, in a few years, guinea worm is likely to make its last stand here in southern Sudan. In Capueta, southern Sudan, Gary Stryker for World Focus.